this is my 2017 model Ranger. Um, some good things about it and there's some bad things about it and one of the bad things is the headlights so i've already changed the dipped headlights to led and it just made such a difference and as you can see i just put the main beams on there which are still the halogen bulbs and it's as if somebody's in there holding four candles because that's about how bright they are the yellow um they just they just probably one of the worst headlights that i've seen and for a car like this it's not acceptable this is one of the H11 LED headlight bulbs that I put into the dip beam. I'll put the link below if you're watching in YouTube, but it made such a difference to, the, to driving at night time. So I tried looking for a H15 that was, uh, that was similar that I could put into the main beam. But unfortunately, everything that I came across, there was absolutely no way that it was going to fit into the, um, into the light assembly. Uh, for the really bright ones you need the fan at the bottom to keep them cool uh, just like these that i'm showing you now but unfortunately with the light assembly that's on the ford not only is it atrocious to get into there's no space to put anything with one of the fans on it like you're looking at so eventually i managed to find this one uh, as you can see it's pretty much exactly the same size as the one that i'm going to take out so although still a really really tight fit at least we can get it in okay so onto the fitting of the bulb now there's a few things that you'll find difficult doing this but one of the hardest things by far is taking this cap off the lighting assembly now this comes off pretty easily because i've already loosened it previously just to double check what bulb was going in um but i'll bet a pound to a penny you will really struggle you may want to take the lighting assembly out to get easy access um otherwise all you all you have to do is if you're looking at the back of it there are actually markings on it that say turn it anti-clockwise you just move it by about half an inch and uh, and there's lugs so then it just comes off it, it doesn't screw all the way off you just turn it and then it pulls off this is the bulb in the housing just turn it anti-clockwise to release it anyway it's out now just disconnect the wiring loom from it and there's your old halogen bulb, keep it to one side, it may come useful in the future. Right, so, very very tight on space uh, and when you're putting it in, it needs to be going in at roughly that angle and then turning that way to lock. So that angle and then turning that way to lock. One of the, one of the troubles is, this wire is so short that it's actually connected to and there's so little space in there uh, it just makes it really really difficult so let's go for it it's got to be the worst assembly I've ever played on the holes at the back don't marry up with the um, the bulb mounts themselves it's terrible absolutely terrible anyway nearly there now and there you have it new bulb fitted as you can see it's crisp white not the yellow stuff uh, this is still got the halogen in on the other side so you can see the difference in the color but these lights are also your daytime driving lights so having a white light is so much better um, for the oncoming traffic there's the original one and we should see yeah there's the led replacement in there nice and white and uh, you can see it nice and bright as well okay back over to the near side uh that's the cover there and it's a really tight fit you can see how you've got the battery compartment and there's also this thing sticking out off the front um and I haven't loosened this one up so it's a really really difficult cap to get off in a very enclosed space nope I'm gonna have to take that off okay so these are uh, eight mil connections in fact I may not need to take those off I pull that back and then I 
actually no, it's probably going to be easier taking this off completely. Let's move that out of the way and try it again. Right, so the access is a lot better. Still fiddly. I do understand that they've got to make them waterproof, but they need to find a better mechanism for putting the cap on because this is absolutely ludicrous absolutely ludicrous and for the next 10 minutes i struggled like mad to uh just to move the cap probably about half an inch um anti-clockwise to get it so that the lugs married up with the gap and you could just take it off and, and i can't say enough how bad a system this actually is And if you're genuinely wondering why I'm not taking the headlight assembly out altogether and doing this outside of the car, because I tried that when I changed the low beam. And it was almost impossible to do that as well. Oh. Woo! That is shit. That is terrible. <sighs> it's the O-ring that waterproofs it, obviously. But the mechanism for, for getting it out, it's just terrible, terrible. Right, let's get this bulb out. So easy enough to take out. Just connect it. And that was in like that. So it was in like that and to take it out, you move it like that. So in like that, move it like that to take it out. So that's how we're going to put the other one in. And again, here's the new bulb. Find the wires. Connect it up and then pop it in. Right, I just need to do some adjustment on this and I'll show you why. The, the press down things here, the two flat, I don't know if you can see there, they need springing up a bit. So I'll take out my trusty Leatherman and do exactly that. Just get the spring and bend it up. Connect it back up again. Connect it back up the right way. And pop it in. And there we go. Right, that's in. Just double check it. Get the cap back on. Right, so we've just replaced out those two with LED bright white replacements. And that's the that's the lights working on both sides. 
Uh, so the daytime driving light and full beam all in one. And let's go in now and check on the dashboard. Right, and now for the final test, we'll flick on the low beam. It's there on. You can't really see, but they're on. I'll do that again, actually. All right, put the low beam on and then flick on the full beam. And there we go. And no error message. Perfect. And some quick before and afters. So on this one, you've got the old halogen and this one, the new LED. And then old halogen, new LED. And then we've got a bit of video, which is old halogen and new LED. I think the difference for me and why I prefer these is the light's not harsh, it's white, so you see the true colours of things and it doesn't look like you're driving under an old sodium um, street lamp all the time. And it's just a light that I really, really prefer. So, really happy with this. Took a bit of fitting, but well worth it and enjoyable. If you like the video, then uh, I'd appreciate you subscribing. There's lots of other things to look at. And I hope you like this one.